Okay, hello everybody. Um, I just thought I'd do a, a very quick uh, video tutorial on uh, MATLAB functions. Um, it occurred to me this morning that uh, quite a few of you um, were, were struggling quite a bit um, to remember exactly how to how to use functions, how to write functions. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick a quick video tutorial. Um, this course wasn't intended to, to to be teaching you a lot of MATLAB, um, and I should also caveat this tutorial um, by saying that uh, I'm not a, a MATLAB tutor, so so do bear that in mind. So I might have missed I might miss some key things, but um, I'm certainly going to tell you what I consider to be the most important things to know about functions, certainly for for what we're going to be dealing with them. But the functions really um, underpin a lot of the application of the theory. Um, so they, they, are, they facilitate the application of the theory that you're learning in the lectures to allow us to, to write a, a performance code um, to do some of the really interesting and cool things we can, we can get from uh, applying the theory in the lectures. Um, so I think I'd, worth me telling you that uh, the purpose of a, of a function is a bit like, um, a bit like one of those buttons on, a, on an electronic calculator. Um, if you if you look at for example the square root key on a calculator um, we can do exactly the same thing in MATLAB by using a function so the square root function in MATLAB is called SQRT if I type X SQRT and put as an input into that um, the number 64 press enter we get obviously uh, 8 so SQRT is a good example of, uh, of a function. And we could have written that function ourselves, a very simple function. So if I go to the editor now, um, and I say, right, well, I want to make my own square root function. And I write, uh, I would have to write function. OK, so this tells uh, MATLAB that what I'm producing in this, in this M file, in this editor uh, window, is, is a function. It treats it like a function. OK, I have to write into square brackets what my output is going to be, uh, what I want to call my output. Um, so I'm just going to call it my answer. And then I have to give my function a name. So I'm going to call it my square root. And then I have to uh, tell MATLAB how many inputs I want for that particular function. Um, and I would only want one input. And I would give it a name that would remind the user of the input um, what uh, what that input should be. So in this simple example, it just needs to be any number. So I'm going to write any number. Okay. Now, if I actually go back to the command window for a second, if I type square root, which is the inbuilt MATLAB function for the square root of a number, and I start writing it, if I just pause for a moment, MATLAB will actually pick up this window and, and help me to complete this the inputs for this function. If I click on more help, it'll actually give me a description of that function and tell me exactly how to use it. Okay, and it can be used for map for matrices as well as just single single inputs. Okay, so you get a you get plenty of help in MATLAB and it's that's why another reason why it's really really useful. Okay, so let's suppose we're writing our own um, function for this. So I'll go to the next line and I want to input into this now uh, an equation that underpins the function. Okay, so I want my answer to be the square root of whatever my input is. So I take my input, I write any number, oops, to the power of 0 0.5. Okay. And it's good practice to end to to write to type end to end your function. You don't always have to, but um, it generally helps going forward because if you forget it in future, when you've got a very large function with lots of mini functions embedded into it, you can lose track of your ends. So just get into the habit of always writing an end to complete the function. Um, now, this is the the output. That output there. Um, has to match the output here. Okay, if it doesn't, if I put something else, 
you'll get this orange underline here to say there's something unused okay or unset so in other words the function output doesn't actually appear in the function itself okay so matlab saying giving you a warning there saying well i don't actually have anything to output here because you've not given me anything so you have to make sure that the, the output there appears somewhere in the function because that's what the function is doing it's producing an output okay so once that's fixed everything goes nice and clear it's the same with the input if you don't have uh, if that input that named variable doesn't appear anywhere in the function the MATLAB doesn't know where to get that variable from so the function represents a process on that variable if that variable doesn't exist as an input then where does MATLAB actually take that variable from so what you're doing here with this in these uh, sort of round parentheses is you're giving the function its input it's giving it the the the, um, the input it needs to actually do the process that you're telling it to do so again if i get everything right these disappear okay so simple output um, function name input now if i try to save that you'll notice that it automatically saves it with the name that you've given the function here in the first place okay press save and it appears you see this little f here that tells me that icon there that what this m file represents is a function if you contrast that to an ordinary run file um i don't know a equals three save that you don't get an automatic name I'm just going to call it my run file you'll notice that the icon is different okay all right I'm just going to delete that because I don't need that okay so let's use the function now so if I go to my workspace now if your directory um, your working directory is the same as uh, where the uh, function is saved which it will be if you've just done what I just did then it's preloaded into MATLAB MATLAB can see the function and use it now um, so I need to I want to use this function now so I type in my my square root give me any old number okay and it produces the answer the square root of 1999 is 44.7102 if I do square root use the MATLAB inbuilt function we get the same answer okay now what we could have done there this is this the shorthand way of right of using a function if the if the function only has one output then you don't need to specify what the output should be called okay um, MATLAB will always output if you don't specify the name of the output um, then MATLAB will automatically just output the first um, argument in that uh, output square bracket okay but we could have written the whole thing out okay and the reason I'm telling you that is will become apparent in just a moment so if I put the same thing in in here all we're doing here is we're naming the output that comes from our function we're already giving it a name okay so my answer equals 44.71002 now I could have given that um, variable in the square bracket could have given it any name call it Nick if you want and Nick equals 44.71002 um, if you weren't to name the, the output there at this, at this point then what MATLAB does is it gives it gives it it randomly it, it just assigns the output a name ants okay and every time you use an, uh, a different function that ants will overwrite the previous ants in the workspace if we go to the workspace now this is where all of the variables are saved you'll see that the variable ants um, appears here so if I do something else say square root of um, 64 you see ANS is overwritten 
the previous variable ands, but my variables that relate strictly to what I was wanting to do are still there. Okay, so if I do my square, my, uh, sorry, my answer. Incidentally, if you press up on the um, up arrow from on your keyboard, you'll get your a list of all of the previous inputs that you've had in, into MATLAB. Little shortcut there. So square root of 64. If I go up to my answer, if I type in something else here, if I type in 100, okay, notice how my answer will be overwritten by by that as well. Okay. So that's a very just very quick brief intro into functions. Um, I'm going to do next um, a, a uh, I'll do another I'll do a new video for this, but I'm going to explain how you make um, functions with multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Okay. Um, very quickly, how, a brief shortcut of how to clear the screen if you've forgotten. C if you type in CLC, it gets rid of everything on the screen. If you type in clear clears your workspace okay if you type in close all if you've got any figures open which we don't then it will close those figures okay so another quick brief shortcut okay so that'll do for this video I'll stop that now